There's a shot of F2 Lycan Shepherd Septimus on the right, and F2 uh, Lycan Shepherd Balu on the left. They're uh, eight week old uh, Lycan Shepherds from the Lycan Shepherd Project. They're uh, chewing on a uh, raw leg quarter and some fish that I've hacked up a bit for them. Over here we have uh, Toki and K-Bar. They're just in the kennel for filming purposes. They're uh, eating also. All my dogs do live in the house. I always have people who will ask. That uh, siren you hear in the background is our uh, monthly tornado siren test. They do uh, the first Wednesday of every month at 1 o'clock. I want to start filming and uh, the tornado alert starts and a plane flies over. <laughs> fish buddy Kurgan prefers to eat his fish frozen. That's why you see him eating a frozen fish there. The puppies have thawed fish and chicken. And uh, Kurgan could have had uh, thawed fish, but again, he chose the frozen one. He uh, just prefers it that way. He'll eat it both ways, though.
Uh, bones are safe for dogs. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. People always ask that. The homie, you know, with your fish, coming over to say thanks. And this uh, snatch a little something from the puppies. <laughs> Toki and uh, K-Bar over there. Toki's got a fish and uh, K-Bar's eating some chicken now. We're going to take in one of the thawed fishes over there. <coughs> so, we trying to film. Here working on that leg bone. Because my puppies are so big, they're able to deal with some of these uh, chicken and fish bones uh, much earlier than other puppies would. You know, uh, uh, if you have smaller dogs, you know, adjust what you're feeding them based on the size. You know, uh, if these guys were my bulldogs, I'd still be smashing these pieces of chicken up with a mallet and hitting it with a cleaver. Again, you don't have to worry about fish bones with dogs as long as they're raw. I do avoid feeding uh, salmon and trout. I always put some information in the video description regarding that. Uh, that's because those two fish can carry a uh, deadly parasite. It requires them to be fr uh, deep frozen for a minimum of six to seven days. I just avoid feeding it. This right here is uh, tilapia they're eating right now. Uh, I feed them whatever I can get good deals on. Uh, and I feed it how I get it. If it's gutted, I feed it gutted. If it's not, I feed it that way. And that goes for scales too. I bet everybody enjoyed, uh, would enjoy another update of the pups. They grow so much every day. Again, you see the two boys in the kennel over there eating side by side, all getting along. Again, these pack feedings really do uh, promote a uh, healthy pack cohesion and hierarchy. No, I don't feed them like this every day. We do this uh, two, three days a week, and uh, otherwise the large dogs eat alone. The puppies always eat out here with Kurgan like this, though. I can't. Uh, I don't like to leave them out alone because we have so many raptors in the area, hawks and eagles and that. I always have a big dog out with them. I can't have Ulu out with them because uh, she's basically like a vacuum cleaner when it comes to food and she sucks everything up. Kurgan on the other hand though, uh, he, he's very good about that. The big man over here to get some more pets. Good boy. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna stop the video now. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our merch store. It's a good way to support the channel and get something cool in return. Bye from myself, Mr. Kurgan, Septimus, Balu. Oakster and uh, K-Bar. The other dogs are in the house, for those who are wondering, uh, eating uh, also. See ya. Thanks for watching.
check out our merch store down below. Yeah.